Oh, hey, I didn't see you there. Welcome back to another episode of Philological Trend. Have a seat. It's a trick question. You cannot drink a drink because the correct name for it is called a beverage. Drink is slang. So food. Wait, what was the question? There's no such thing as a drink. It's considered a beverage. So you could drink a beverage, but you cannot drink a drink. People do bad things so they can get what they want in life. Because everybody wants to have their own way. That was the answer. That's that's it. That's it. That it's as simple as that. Hmm. Honesty. Honesty is better. Well, honesty is more important. It's important because if people are honest, that it can help you become a better person because they tell you what you need to improve on or what you need to change. World hunger. What do you think? What do I think we should do? Um. I don't think there's anything we can do. As sad as it sounds, I don't know the solution. You got the wrong guy. I think if there was a solution, it would have been solved by now. I don't think we have one as people or as citizens, do you? All right, I'm gonna try to break this down. How much wood? Chuck, chuck, if a woodchuck could chuck wood. So a woodchuck could chuck wood. Little build a how much wood? How much wood could a woodchuck chuck? Woodchuck could chuck. Six tons of wood. A woodchuck could chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood. I got to that number because a woodchuck is chucking wood, and in the in the question, you gotta count how many times he's a wood. So how much wood? That's one. That's one thing. Of wood. Could a woodchuck? That's another wood. Chuck. If a woodchuck could chuck wood. So I. I'm glad I redid this. I'm wrong. It could chuck four tons of wood. Four tons of wood is the correct answer for that statement. It only takes four because lettuce on burgers is the same as equivalent to ketchup on hot dog. I'm not getting one. I don't need one. People think I do. I don't need no brain scan. If anything, you might need a brain scan. Yeah? Because you don't think on the high level I do. All these questions are easy. It takes a it takes a different individual to be able to think the way I do. Implications? He defined implications. Implication. The conclusion that can be drawn from something, although it is not explicitly stated. Synonym would be a suggestion, a hint. So what hint do I get about DNA? Hmm. Could you please repeat the question? What are the hints? What are the hints that is intelligent, intelligently designed? It's hint. Is it's who? 
Who asked the question? <laughs> this cool. All right, look. It's helix shape. It's H shape. Is the implications that it is designed intelligently. So it's the helix shape of it that gives you the hint that you make it seem that it's designed special. I can change one thing about that. <clears throat> if I could change one thing about the world, I would eliminate bugs and insects, spiders, centipedes, all that stuff. I'd eliminate them from the world. We dream so our mind could stay busy. Cause if you go to sleep and your mind does not stay busy, you could lose all functions of your mind. So your mind has to stay moving throughout the night, throughout the cycle of everything. So you dream so your mind is occupied. That way it doesn't go dumb when you wake up. If you don't wake up. If you wake up. Yes, when you wake up. answer this I think all right I think the safe road here is to say no I look I don't let's go to the next one let's go to the next one all right I wouldn't change anything and I'm going to say I agree with I don't. I just don't know about the policy. So the policy is not perfect. I'll say that it's not perfect. There's a problem. There's a population problem. This is too many people. This. To solve the population problem, we would then have to form new states. We would have to increase more land for the people to live here. That's the easiest answer, but if there's not enough room, you gotta create more. As simple as that. Both. There's both. The sound waves are going at the same time, so you can hear both if you listen closely. Three keys to success. All right. Three keys to success is that you have to have a good routine and a productive routine, so you, you don't waste enough time. So you don't waste a lot of time during the day. If you have, if you focus your days by being productive, then it would help your months and then your years, and then you get a lot of stuff done compared to the rest of the people who don't. And then another key is that you should listen to some good stuff. It's just like eating. You have to listen to some good stuff too, like some podcasts or some motivational videos as well. And then another key is that you have to actually accomplish some of the work you have to. You have to actually do your work. You can't just listen or wake up early to be productive. You have to actually get your stuff done and put in the work and take action. Those are the three keys to success. Well, mini keys. I have more coming soon. Whenever I get my section on a course or like that, I'll explain more. But those are three keys. All right, that's all the time that we have today. Thank you for joining me on this episode. To the loop.